Hello, I'm Scott with Fiberlay, and today I will be showing you how to infuse a foam core panel. Thank you. First, I will start with the products we'll be using in this process. Down here, we have a six pound polyurethane foam core. It is cut in two directions, one this way, one the opposite direction. And if the camera can focus, you can see the holes where the two cuts meet. This is very important in transferring the resin between the top and the bottom of the panel. Next, we have cold bond strips. These are used to transfer airflow and resin flow in a panel. In this one, I made a two inch slit where I'll be putting a T-fitting lighter. Underneath these, due to the fact that I don't want them to stick to the foam, we have peel ply. This product is used to release anything off fiberglass. From there we have a T-fitting and the hose. This hose is a reinforced clear. Uh, I'm going to use this for my resin flow. This is a 3 8 or quarter inch hose used for my airline. We have infusion resin. This is very important. The resin is about 150 centipoise. We have bagging tape to seal our bag. In this case we're using an 18 inch vacuum bag tube. We have a pump that pulls approximately 26 inches of mercury. We have a resin catch chamber. And inside this chamber, we put a five quart plastic mixing container to collect the resin drips. Scissors and vice grips. There's many different ways to seal a hose. In this case, we'll be using a vice grip. And those are the items that I'll be using in today's infusion demo. We're gonna be using a 20 ounce mock leno cloth on both sides of a half inch, six pound polyurethane core. It's very important to use the proper fiberglass materials for the fastest flow. Uh, usually we stay away from chop strand mat uh, or 45 degree knitted as if possible. Uh, in this case, we're going to be placing this panel, half inch cord panel and fiberglass into our bag, which I have already used sealant tape on one end of it. I will show you how to seal and tape the opposite side as I come through it. Basically we slide this bag in Oh, sorry, fiberglass and cord in to our part. Now at this point we want to make sure that this side is going to be our resin line. So what I'll do is I'll take the product earlier called coal bond and wrap it in peel ply so that it doesn't stick to my part. Okay? I will also be using my T-fitting as my through, through hole into the bag. We usually wrap the end with a little bit of bag tape okay. so that we can stick to it at a later time. Slide the key fitting in, wrapping it with uh, peel ply, and then putting it in place. So that's, that's ready for the vacuum hose at this point. Then I'll proceed to vacuum tape the other side. And in this case, I will be using my clear hose from the vacuum and putting it through the bag, not in a T-fitting. At this point, I have turned the bag around, as you can see here. I'm going to show, uh, this is a through hole with a T-fitting, and then I'm going to show you a through hole through the side of the bag. So you have two options in infusion. There's actually more than two, but in this case, I'll show you two. I wrap this cold bomb with uh, peel ply. I'm going to slide the hose into the side of the coal bond. I don't know if you can zoom in here. So the resin can flow evenly. And I've already pre-taped the edge here. As you can see, I've wrapped some tape around the hose here in the corner. And I've extended the tape around the corner here on the end of the bag. That way the, the hose tape can stick to the, the bag tape in the corner here to get a proper seal. Okay. And I'll proceed to bag tape around those two. Hopefully the camera can show some of what I'm doing. So as you can see now we have a hose coming through the bag on one end 
a T-fitting hole on the other end. We're fully sealed on both sides. I have to uh, install the resin hose. So typically what I do is I turn the vacuum pump on and as it comes down, I prepare my hose to stick onto this uh, vacuum section. As you notice, I have a yellow bag tape around this T. The reason for that is I put a small hole in the end and push this hose onto the T. The yellow tape seals the bag to the hose. Okay, so as you can see, I'm actually pulling uh, vacuum. My gauge is up to five and growing over here. And my T fitting is sticking straight up, ready for me to put my hose on place. Now this time I'll turn the uh, pump off. I'll take my big scissors, make sure you don't cut the bag anywhere. And poke, poke a small hole into the T there. And then push my hose right onto the T fitting. This guarantees you, or not guarantees, but pretty much allows you to have a full seal with the bag tape, hose, and T all in one. Now this time I'll turn the vacuum back on and pull full vacuum. You have to uh, crimp this hose down so no air gets into the part. The typical use for that is uh, vice grips. Right now we're just testing. We want to make sure we have full seal on this part. Okay, now that we have full vacuum and we prepare our resin, in this case infusion resin, uh, Orca 100, 150 centipoise resin. Uh, one more piece that you may need is, uh, this is an emergency repair kit. What I've done is wrap the tube with uh, bag tape. I have a syringe. I place the tube and seal it in place. What this does, if there's ever an uncured section, you can either hook it up to vacuum or resin and inject a certain area that you're trying to repair. In this case, the panel, we, won't, we probably won't need this, uh, but larger parts you will. Now I will proceed to catalyze the material. In this case, I have uh, 24 ounces of resin, which will take a teaspoon and a half. There's one teaspoon and a half. Thoroughly mix your product and try to catalyze it to the directions. Too many people try to play with catalyst ratios. Please use the recommended catalyst in this application. You do not want the resin to heat up too hot and micro crack. Stop. Now that I've catalyzed the resin, all we have to do is put this hose into it and watch all the material come into the part. As you can see the resin coming into this colbon strip, and you see how fast this part will infuse. It evenly infuses through the whole part. So you'll notice, as long as your cold bond strand crosses the entire piece, it'll evenly come to the other side. The chamber is designed to catch the excess resin that overflows into a plastic bucket. And you can see how fast a two and a half foot piece infuses. This could be a hundred feet long, multiple hoses, and it infuses at the same rate. At this point, we just let the pump run until the part is cured. As you can see, uh, it'll continue infusing. You know, and pull all the resin from the back to the front until it pulls full vacuum on the part. Uh, this is basically a perfect layup: 70% glass, 30% resin, uh, not including the foam core. And that uh, finalizes our infusion demo demo uh, for a foam panel. Uh, you can go to fireblade.com or call our technical uh, line at 1-800-942-0660 uh, for product knowledge. Thank you.